work with wood. Um, started out mostly with plywood, uh, laminating, and uh, making three-dimensional pieces that are structural and biological in the way that they they feel. Um, nature and sh yeah, forms forms from nature that I'm interested in. Uh, and, yeah, and I like yeah, I kind of work from doodles, like little kind of small drawings that I then kind of work up into something bigger. to be specifically, you know, oh, that's, micros that's a microscopic thing, or that's a this, or that's a that. I, I'm more looking for shapes and forms that have something, some curiosity to them that connect uh, to microscopic forms or to other, I think, uh, you know, they, 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 they would have multiple references, like, I, yeah, I, I would never want to make anything if I really knew what it was. Like I, I, I do a lot of doodles, and then the ones that I always come back to and and, and have a, some enduring curiosity over. It's like I, there's something about it I can't figure out or I can't totally put my finger on uh, that makes me want to want to go through the work, uh, all the work of actually turning it into a, a, a real life kind of person-sized thing. Uh, it, it's almost like that, that's part of uh, part of trying to figure, trying to understand that, that form to actually see it uh, in, in full size or, or, or whatever. So, uh, can you guide me, for example, this piece behind you? As an example, um, you create the the little form in a drawing, for example, and then it came, or you have different drawings, and you, you say, well, maybe this one is going to be him. So, from the moment that you, you make the drawing, you yeah, 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 okay, yeah, you, usually I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a little drawing and I'll be like, oh, that's a great idea, and then I do it tons of other ones trying to refine the idea and realize that I didn't want to refine it at all and I almost always use the original sort of really rough sketch which I then want to, because it preserves something sort of that kind of flows out more naturally when you become more self-conscious about it then it, it, there's a different feeling to it or, or whatever. So I'll usually work from the kind of roughest, most simple sketch. Uh, and then I bring that into a computer, into AutoCAD, and uh, get it ready to be usually CNC cut uh, in, in profile. And I'll get a bunch of copies of the same thing cut so that I have a, a lot of material to work with to get the three-dimensionality in laminating. So once I, yeah, I'll get it, say I get three or four copies of, of this piece here cut, and then I'll, I'll draw to scale cross sections to determine what, what this arch, you know, the, the, how, how that will arch so that I know how I need to chop the pieces up in order to build the, to laminate them to get the depth that, that, that I want to achieve that curvature. So I'm not working from a from a big block and chipping away and sort of feeling it as I go. I, 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 it's very planned and kind of engineered uh, 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 with layout. I like sort of drafting and drawing and sort of uh, that sort of problem solving is interesting to me more so than just chipping away at a, at a block. How do you choose the the, the wood? Uh, that are going to go for a different, for the, each 
touch of the pieces and then the colors. Oh, that's from the beginning or uh, how you, for example, this one, the dark blue, the light blue, the natural color, the, the wood in, in general. How you choose it for any piece? Um, well, yeah, it's, uh, I, I normally just, originally I worked pri almost entirely with plywood, uh, and then I found that I needed something as a bit of a counterpoint to that, uh, that's why I, and I brought in sort of darker hardwoods, um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm not really too interested in getting, exploring different types of wood and different types of materials too much. I, of bringing out the, the, the way the laminations are in the plywood and using using uh, darker woods as, as a kind of counterpoint to that. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, introducing uh, smooth surfaces with color or, or, or just white or, or whatever. And I use a filler for that, just to rubbing a filler into the plywood to, to see so ya, yeah, thanks for coming. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I guess I, I like uh, combining modern, sort of either synthetic or factory made materials with with also more natural materials. Uh, I think I like that contrast. There's something about that that feels kind of real to me. Like it feels like, a, you know, using just natural woods feels like a bit of a fantasy. Because, you know, the world is different now and I'm different and, 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 and we, we drive cars around and use computers. And, and uh, so that, that's why I, I think plywood appeals to me because it, it does have that, uh, it, it has a nice nostalgic woody feel to it and yet there's, it has a, something really rational about it too and, uh, and structured uh, in, a, in, a, in a contemporary way I guess rather than a, yeah. So yeah, I guess I'm, uh, sometimes what feels kind of natural and what 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 feels uh, uh, I guess how we how we look at things through the lens of current understanding of the world and which is you know more scientific and rigid I guess can you talk a little bit about your philosophy behind the the shapes and the what's behind the whole thing besides using the materials and everything. The shapes, why the shapes? What, what, what is that you are trying to express with those shapes? Or? Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I think I think I just kind of start out with something that it uh, appeals to me. It's just like a real kind of basic uh, appeal of yeah, different sort of li living living forms. But then it's more kind of after the fact. I, I, I I've got to kind of question myself. It's like why do these types of shapes keep on coming up, and why do I?
you know, in motion and, and I guess uh, opening. I mean, I, I think everything that I do in some way is, uh, is, is relaxing or opening in a way to let uh, the viewer see through it or in, inside it. I guess I'm interested in, in the insides of things. Uh, as opposed to, yeah, as opposed to, you know, say a painting that just has something covering the surface and you don't really know what it's made of. Uh, or, you know, a sculpture that's like been chipped away at and it's just a, it's a homogenous mass, but that has a, you know, the outside has a certain appearance. I want to see, I want to see inside of it and what it's, what it's made of. Uh, and how it, how it's held together. into the, the shape of the thing rather than just seeing what, what's on the surface of it. Uh, so I guess, yeah, that, that, that's, that's maybe what I'm trying to do. Uh, it's, yeah, it, yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really bother me to, when people say, like, oh, that looks like a musical instrument. It's like, yeah, well, it's, sometimes I think that myself too. I guess I like a lot of disparate uh, connections yeah and the, yeah the feeling of uh, either sound like you know these holes containing sounds or being able to produce sounds t tones or, th or this being guitar strings or sort of a type of a harp or whatever. You know, either being an instrument or being some sort of physical manifestation of a of a piece of music, uh, you know, a piece of classical music or, or something. And yeah, and and, and and yeah, I guess yeah, we're, that being related to biology too, because it's there's the same sort of just creativity going going on, just at different time time frames, you know, with evolution playing with these basic structures over millions of years, or then if you look at the, like, uh, 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 like Bach fugues as being very similar, like you, uh, just taking a basic structure and playing with that, uh, uh, inverting it and whatever, trying all, uh, yeah, to me that, that that feels like there's a there's a relationship there. It's more that when I'm listening to music, I get ideas. I start to get ideas for pieces, and so then I want to rush and try and you know it's like a dream. You know, if you don't get it quick enough, it's gonna like disappear, kind of thing. Yeah. It's always the same type of music that you listen on this. No, lot, lots of different kinds of music, but. It, yeah, I mean, I, li I like classical music, and there's, I mean, there's so much more going on that you, 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 there's just more, more to, more, more harmony and tone to, to play with. Uh, it's not just the same thing over and over again.